Hi, this is Brian Pash with PCG Digital Marketing. And if you're looking for new ways in 2012 to see the ROI of your digital marketing investments in the zero moment of truth, I encourage you to look at Google Analytics multi-channel sales funnels. What you'll be able to do is create tags for different types of media investments to see which of those investments are actually assisting the conversion into a lead. For example, you could set up channels for Facebook, AutoTrader, Cars.com, your blogs, your email campaigns, your retargeting campaigns. Once you set up multi-channel sales funnels, you'll be able to see if someone came to your website through a pay-per-click ad or through social media, did they convert into a lead? Or what was their flow that created the most leads for your business? Multi-channel sales funnels will allow you to determine which paths are converting the most and which websites, investments, and influences in the zero moment of truth are assisting a conversion. Traditional analytics would look at the last referring website before a lead was submitted. But today, we can see the pattern of visits over the course of those 18 plus digital influences Google talks about in the last 30 days before they submit a lead. Or it could just be accomplish a goal, meaning Google Analytics allows you to set up goals, which could be submitting a lead, but it also could be setting a service appointment. It could be viewing your specials pages or visiting one of your vehicle detail pages. Each of those goals can be tracked to see which digital influences are driving the most conversion. So if you'd like to read more up on the Google Analytics multi-channel sales funnels, just go to our blog and take a look at the article or just Google multi-channel sales funnel and you'll see a number of Google resources that can help your dealership really understand the ROI and the influence of your digital investments in the zero moment of truth.